Okay, excellent. So hello and welcome to the live stream, whether you are joining me live now or you're catching me on the replay. Apologies about the last live stream where the sound had a conniption. I think that's the official technical word and something happened, but we're doing it again. So in this live stream, I am going to cover a review of BeLive. So if you're looking at different options for live streaming software and you're like, what's the best live streaming software that is out there? I am doing a series where I'm reviewing a couple of them. I'm reviewing BeLive on this this video. I'm also going to be reviewing Elam, Elam, Ecamm Live and StreamYard. So I'm going to give you a couple of options and talk about what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and then give you a bit of a look behind the scenes so you can see for yourself and decide which one is right for you. So I'm glad that we have Sign Up Live and I am glad that audio seems to be behaving for now. So thanks for your patience, um, everyone, and apologies for bad sound because that's not how I roll, as you know. So let's get into the video now. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help businesses build their brands, build their income and impact using video on social media. And make sure that you check out the links in the description because I'll put links to the timestamps, I'll put um, any resources and tools and things like that there. So a lot of magic in the description for you to check out. Now let's go on over to um, have a look a bit at BeLive and what they actually offer. So um, in term, BeLive, as you know, is a software provider who allow you to have more options when you're live streaming and they provide live streaming for Facebook Live and YouTube. I've been using them for um, a little bit now and I, you know, let's talk a bit, of, let's talk a little bit about them. In terms of pricing, um, you have two options. You have the free plan and you have a standard pay, standard plan, which is a paid plan. And there's a third one coming soon. Um, but the two plans at the time of this recording is the free plan. Um, you get lots of options with the free plan, but you're limited in terms of you have their branding on your live stream. So you have the BeLive logo and you also get a little bit, um, you, you don't get as many options with the free plan as you do the paid plan. Of course, you know, you need to pay to get extra options. But in terms of what you have, um, the pricing I think is pretty fair and you can pay monthly or you can pay annually um, and there's a bit of a discount there. So let's have a look now at what, what I think is personally the most important part, the actual features of BeLive. So after you have set up an account and you've logged in, this is what you see behind the scenes. So this is what you'll see in BeLive. I'm just going to remove myself now because there's no need for me to be there twice. So you'll be able to see this section here, which is where all the magic happens. Um, you can choose your camera in this top left corner here to connect the camera source. So if you have multiple cameras, you can choose which one you want to have. You can also add a guest. So I'm going to line that up. So we will add a guest in a minute. So let me just, okay, come on now. So if you wanted to do a live stream and then have someone attend, whether you're interviewing them or, you know, they're presenting with you, what you would do in BeLive is you would select this um, icon here to add a guest. It would give you this link and you would copy the link. So this is what they see, your guest will see when they open the link. So they'll see an invite from you. Um, and then they'll be able to select this connect camera button and this will um, get BeLive to, you know, start streaming their camera. So that's what happens. So you can give that link to your guest. And I'm just going to ask my guest to come on now, which hopefully here they are. Once your guest is on, you'll see them appear at the bottom and um, you can add them to the live stream by clicking show in live stream. And you have a couple of options when adding them to the live stream. You can either have it um, side by side with you, so split screen. You can choose the next option here, which is still split screen, but it's just a little bit back. Um, you can choose to have them 
smaller as kind of like this picture and picture on the screen, or you can switch that around and have them larger and you smaller. So that's pretty cool in terms of having um, your guests. You can also have them um, completely on screen and you off. So them take control of, I guess, or them dominate the entire screen. Um, otherwise you can, you know, you have options to display how, you know, with these different selections here. The thing that I find a bit limiting with um, Be Live is that I can't control the size that my guest appears. So I would like the ability to choose, yes, I get to choose between, you know, full size and they're side by side, or I can choose if they're smaller in the corner, but like I don't get to make this bigger or smaller to the size that I want. And I may just have control issues and want to control everything, but I would like the flexibility. Well, I like the flexibility to be able to choose the size of that. So that's a pretty cool option and that's how easy it is to add your guest. Um, you also have the option to mute them. So if they're coming on and they're like got a lot of noise and you're like, stop that, you can select the, mute button and turn their sound off and you can also turn their camera off as well so you can make them disappear um, so and so that you can only hear them so there's you know a little bit of flexibility there and it's really easy for you to um, add a guest and then to kind of manage your guests on the live stream as well and once you're ready to have your guests leave you can just remove them from the broadcast altogether so um, thanks to my guests for helping me out there that's how you would add a guest on BeLive. The other things that I think is really handy with BeLive is that you get to add text and you get to add images really easily. So if you go to the left-hand sidebar, which is where all the magic happens, um, here where it says add or edit agenda, you can add text and then just choose when you want it to appear and disappear from the from the screen. And you can add this text to be whatever you want it to be. So I can add another item and I can go, good morning. And then I can have it appear in the bottom of the screen like that. So that's how you can add some text. So if you're talking and you wanna break it up into chapters or you wanna emphasize a particular point at a time, that's how you can add some text quite easily to the live stream. Um, the other way that you can um, add some text is, so this is, they call it this agenda option, but there's one more option which we'll have a look at, is this text on screen option. So on the left hand side, text on screen, if I go to show the title, then this is what happens. So you get to display the text and this can be whatever you want. I'm going to hide that and show it again. So you can choose that text to be whatever you want and change it really quickly there as well. Um, and then you've also got the option to add crawl a crawler. So you can add this text and it runs across the bottom of the screen. And this really reminds me of, um, you know, those late night infomercial one call me now, um, only five minutes left um, ads where you can add that if you wanted to as well. So it's really easy to add text. Those are the options that you have um, and you simply choose it from within BeLive. The other thing that you can add is images, which is what people always ask me for. It's like, how can I add my own images so that I can have some variety on the live stream? And you can do that in a couple of ways. You can, if you go to the last option here, edit appearance, it allows you to, um, add your own logos. So, if you choose the free version, then you're stuck with their logo, which will appear in the top right hand corner here. Otherwise you can upload your own one. In terms of images, you can also add um, an overlay. So they've got some already loaded. So if I choose this and apply it, that adds that overlay or I can swap this out and it just changes it instantly for me or I can add my own ones. So I'm going to go and add my own one. So this is an example of one of my own overlays. I created an image in Canva and I gave it a transparent background and therefore, and then I just added it um, as an overlay and I would switch it out on the live stream. So that's how you can add some images. You've also got the option to add, um, let's go back to none, a background. And you're like, well, she's clicking on the background but I don't see anything. So I'm going to choose a background and show you how it actually happens. So I'm gonna choose this um, one 
And although you can't see it right now, if I was to choose to share my screen or to add, um, if I was to choose to an option that made the screen smaller, you would be able to see it. So let's do that now. So I'm going to share the screen and I'm going to, um, no, I'm not going to share a screen because I'm not ready for that. Um, I'm going to open up a document so you can. Okay. So if I was to go back and share a screen, I'm going to choose this document, click share. You can see the document when I show it in the stream like this. And as you can see at the back, there's also um, the background that I uploaded. So if you, you know, instead of having the black, I can have whatever colored background that I want. And that's how you can do it there. So that is how you would um, add a background to the back of your live stream. And then the last thing I just showed you, but I will show you again, is I am going to show you um, how I would share a screen. So I'm just going to open up a document so that it makes a bit more sense. Uh -huh. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna open this document. Okay, so let's say I wanted to show a screen, share my screen, and this is a common question I get asked all the time. How would you share your desktop so that you can either share a presentation, you can demo software, you can demo drawing, whatever it is. So in BeLive, the option to do that um, is this third option here, um, share screen. So I'm gonna click on that and it's really messy, but I apologize. Then I'm going, you get the option to choose a window. You get the option to share your entire screen. So if you have um, multiple monitors, you can choose which monitor you want to share, or you can choose a specific tab. So I'm going to choose this document and I'm going to share it. Um, once it started sharing, I can then add it to the live stream. So show in stream, and this is the document. And then I can just scroll and go through the document. Um, and once again, like, you had with when you add a guest, you can choose whether you display that 50-50 um, on the screen, or you can choose whether you display that um, like that, <laughs> or smaller on the screen, or to have it switched around and um, more dominant. So that's how you would share a screen. It's quite easy to do. You would simply choose screen share and then choose which um, a screen monitor browser that you would like to add. So hopefully that's covered everything. Now, how do you actually go live with BeLive is another common one. So once you've set up everything, I'm going to just switch this to make sure I can see what's going on. On the left-hand side here, there's this start button. So to go live, you would have everything ready, click live, start, and then go live. And then there's a bit of a countdown. Usually we'll see how we go with the the demo, um, and we're just waiting for it to uh, <laughs> do its thing. There's the countdown. And then I can see that I am live and I know that I'm live because there's this red um, button here with the countdown timer and letting me know that it's live and how long I've been going live for. And then on the right hand side, this is where I can chat and I can say hello, and I can also um, engage with people on the live stream too. So I'll be able to see everything that's happening here, which is pretty handy. So that is a crash course look at BeLive. So we looked at, um, we looked at the options of getting in. We looked at the options of sharing the desktop. We looked at the options of adding images, text, um, as a nutshell of, what you can actually do within BeLive. I'm going to switch back to my face. So, and that essentially wraps us up. So what do I like and what don't I like about BeLive? I love how it's really simplified and you have enough options to give you lots of flexibility and to customize your live streams so that you can add images, you can add overlays, you can add a guest really, really easily and you don't have to struggle with a learning, a learning curve with learning the technology. It's really simple. So I really love that about it. What I don't like about it, um, I don't like that you can't control the sizing of the 
you can't drag the size of whether you're adding a guest into the live stream and the size of their video or the size of an image easily you kind of are, you're a little bit restricted to the preset sizes that um be live have for you but uh it doesn't mean that you can't do it you just have to kind of work with what you've got there so there's a little not as much flexibility as i would like but i don't think that really is a big deal particularly if um, you don't have control issues like me. It is a really robust software that allows you to really customize, get up, um, start live streaming and, you know, make it, make it your own. So I really love that about it. And would I recommend it? Do I think it's one of the best software options out there? Yeah, I do actually. I do think it's a great option. Um, the paid version, I think it's definitely worth it, particularly if you want to get serious about live streaming. It's a great one to have a play around with to get started. And if you're not really technical, I think it's one of the best solutions because it's so easy to use, but it gives you so, so much functionality. So that would definitely be um, my view of BeLive, great software, really easy to use, particularly if um, you don't like technology or you struggle with it a little bit. It's really, it's really you know, it works nicely. And in terms of being stable or not, um, amazingly stable. Oh, um, yes. So that essentially wraps up the live stream. Um, what I didn't show you, which I'll switch back quickly, is how do you stop a live stream? So I showed you how to start one, but to stop it, you simply click on the red button again to stop the stream. And that's essentially it. I just realized it was still running and I was ending my live stream without ending that one and showing you how to do it. So let's go back here now. So hopefully you found that useful. So if you found this video useful, if you thought that this was a great demo and that you got value out of it, I showed you how to um, get around BeLive and the features and how to use them. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for more ways to grow your business or you're looking to get up and running with live streaming, make sure you check out my Facebook live cheat sheets. I'm going to put a link to them in the description and on the screen somewhere so you can grab them. It's a super simple guide to get you up and streaming on Facebook live, even if you've never hit record before. And it's also a roadmap to help you convert your viewers into buyers. So that wraps up the live stream. Thank you so much for your patience and um, bearing with me for this re-record of this video. And I will see you on the next live stream. Bye for now.